This is my last video on drawing in perspective in Blender Grease Pencil using the guides function. In this one, I want to briefly go over three-point perspective. And I've got an example on the screen, and this is one that was in my original video, which is perspective overview. And this is a still shot from Daredevil. So you can see lines vertically and to the left and the right. So if I turn my perspective lines on in my example, you can see how all of them go to a vanishing point. So we have three vanishing points in this scene. And the vanishing points are different distances away from the frame. So the one on the top is the farthest away. So I'm not going to completely draw this in grease pencil, but I am going to draw some of the lines in the same vanishing points that these are so you can get an idea of how you would do it in your own drawing. So here I am in Blender 3.3.1 and we don't need any special add-ons or anything to do this. So the first thing I want to do is click 2D animation. So I want to set my vanishing points similar to the example that I provided. So looking at that, I had a vanishing point way up here, almost centered with the scene. So in order to use this as a vanishing point, we'll be using guides. And under guides, we only need one option this time. Previously, we had to use radial and grid, and grid provide us the opportunity to draw parallel and perpendicular lines. But in this one, we only need one option. So we're going to use radial, and we're going to use object as the option for radial. So I need three objects. So I'm going to go to object mode and hit shift A to open my add menu. And I'm going to go down to empty and set a sphere. I'll hit S to decrease the size of the sphere. It doesn't really matter how big or small the object is. Grease pencil, I have found, actually goes towards the object's origin point. So you can make it any object you want, any size you want, but it seems like Grease Pencil only looks at the object's origin. So with that still selected, I'm going to hit G to grab it, and I'm going to pull it up probably about right here. And I'm going to rename this Top Vanishing Point. I'm going to hit Shift D to make a copy, and I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to double click that and change it to left vanishing point. Now with that still selected, I'm going to hit shift D to make another duplicate and I'm going to drag that about here. I'm going to change that name to right vanishing point. Okay, just to clean this up a little bit, I'm going to right click and select new collection. I'm going to double click that and change that name to vanishing points. I'm going to drag these into it. Okay, so our vanishing points are set up. The next thing I want to do is select the stroke because I can't go back into draw mode unless the stroke is selected. And then I'm going to draw mode. And I discussed this in previous videos, but if this is your first video, I want to show you that if I draw with the draw tool and post processing is on with strokes and then I go to edit mode and select this and I make sure I'm in points mode up here. You can see there's very few points on this, probably four. So when Blender erases, it erases points. It's not like it erases pixels like in other programs. So if you don't have a lot of points, you can't really erase well. So I'm going to delete this. Delete points. I'm going to go back to draw mode. I'm going to turn post processing off under stroke. I'm going to draw another line. Go back to edit mode. Highlight that. And now you can see there's a lot of points making this up. Okay, so here I'm in draw mode. And again, I'm not going to draw a lot of detail on this. I just want to give you an idea how the lines work when selecting different objects as your vanishing point. So to start off, I want to select radial, and that's the only option we need, but we'll be changing the object we're using as the vanishing point. So I did draw a little bit before recording this. I do want to move the right vanishing point a little further away. I don't think it looked great where it was, so let me hit G in object mode and pull that maybe out here. So let me go back to draw mode. I want to start with the building in the front. So, and again, this will just be rough. So I've got radial mode selected, and I'm in top vanishing point under objects, and my post processing is off. So let me zoom in, and then I want to draw a 
here and then I want to go to my left vanishing point so I click up here and change that I want to draw I want to draw another one for the brick ledge and then I'm going to go back and change it to top and I want to change it to right okay I want to draw a couple of the bricks so I want to choose left I'm going to go to top I'm going to change this to left okay so you get the rough idea on that so I'm going to draw a building to the left of that in the background so I'm going to change this vanishing point to top So under guys, I'm going to change this to right vanishing point, and I'm just going to quickly draw a couple of like windows. Okay, and then I'm going to change this to top vanishing point. I'm going to go to Grease Pencil Properties here and I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to double click that and just say Shadow. And I'm going to click here to lower it beneath the lines. I'm also going to go to the Materials tab and click this plus sign to create a new material. I'm going to select New and then I'll change this to Shadow. And then I'm going to change that color. Hopefully this just gives you an idea of the way you can use three-point perspective in Grease Pencil using the uh, guides option with the radial selected and using three different objects as vanishing points. So again, this is something you could spend a lot of time on really finessing and I think Blender Grease Pencil gives you the options you need to be able to draw in perspective. Uh, it's just very time consuming and I didn't want to show a lot of that here. I wanted to be as quick as possible. So if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. It really helped me grow the channel. And I'll continue to be putting out Grease Pencil tutorials and Blender tutorials in the future. So I hope you subscribe so you can see those. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.